Hey Steve, Bush Will Bell here. Uh, we've been talking about this tail cone reinforcing kit. I thought I'd show you a little bit what we've got going on on it. This is actually a tail cone out of a 182 square tail, which is the service bolt and uh, Cessna put out. Uh, SEL 55-1 covers the Cessna's square tails uh, through the C-Model. They have the hockey stick, the dreaded hockey stick too. This is a Cessna factory new hockey stick. And of course, we all know it goes right here. And from here all the way out the end of this thing, this hockey stick doesn't do anything in the world except to protect you from the oil canning, the skin here by your grab handle when you're pushing air plate. Back here, this is where the rubber reaches the road. This is actually the pivot point for the hinge on your horizontal. Of course, you've got your jack screws and up and down here. And this is a bad design. That's that's the big thing with this, this part here. This was a bad idea. It's got a real sharp stamp in it. Of course, we all know Cessna didn't expect any of these planes to be around 60 years later anyhow. But uh, this is where they're breaking. I've got uh, an install on this part. Here's our tail cone reinforcing lice install. On this side, which you can't see it very well. I'm gonna pick the camera up and try to show it to you folks. Uh, an actual hockey stick and it's broken. And it's broken exactly the way they all break. They break on the forward side of the hinge hole and they break in the radius, they break in the curve. And as you can imagine, these two rivets right here are carrying the load of the airplane when it's flying. Horizontal, the load on the horizontal, Unless you're upside down, it's always from the bottom up. And so it's carrying your entire FCG. I don't know what the weight would be. I have never talked to any engineer about that, whether there's uh, hmm, so many times gross load, test weight, or whatever, figured out. But anyway, just these two little baby rivets hold this and uh, they start smoking. Sometimes you'll see the smoke on the outside. But Steve Davis just did a repair on Paul Claus's 185 the other day, and he said everything looked good till he looked, and the buttons were bucked off. Where the bucking is off of the rivets had, were gone, missing. I think he said on the first three or four, and then three or four more were smoking on the inside, but not on the outside. Go figure. We can't, it's just, you, you just never know. But he also said, from the time, now first thing you do, guys, with the supply dreamer that comes in the kit, you ream this hole out before you drill any of these rivets out. That trues out the inside hole because later on in the installation, you're going to use a, a nice little tool that has to locate off of that hole to locate this hole. But so that's the first thing you do is, is ream that hole. But Steve said from the time he started cutting these off, to the time he had a clean coat in place, ready to start drilling out for the holes and bolts, was 24 minutes. <laughs> Steve gave me permission to tell you that. I'm gonna grab the camera here and try to get a close up of this crack, show you folks exactly what I'm talking about. Now, here we're back. Look at that nasty little crack. Isn't that interesting how that breaks? Now, a bad crack like this one, you can actually see it through the hinge hole. See it in there? And, uh, but otherwise you gotta pull, you still gotta pull the tail all off to inspect all these rivets. Here's our installation. Notice we use bolts and nuts. That's a horrible place there to try to buck a rivet anyway. We got a bolt, a number five rivet instead of a number three, and then another 532 bolt and then we go back to the standard little rivets but basically these bolts are carrying the load these guys are you know these guys are tough and as you all know riveting is an art form bolting is a, a torque form so well here I'm back see yeah so we got the choice here the hockey stick and I think these things are a little over $5,000 now. And look at all of the 
flipping holes you gotta drill out of the side of your airplane. And then you gotta bribe some idiot to crawl down in there and hold a bucking bar while you blah 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 back together. Let me show you some of the stuff that comes in the kit. This out a little bit. This is kind of like Chris's. Here's our tail cone reinforcing kit. Manufactured by QMI. World Headquarters, Joseph Oregon. First and most importantly, paperwork. STC, installation instructions, ICA, continued airworthiness. Got the good stuff. That's where the money's at, guys. Now, while you're studying your instructions before you do your installation, munch on a little bag of gourmet peanuts to give you the strength to carry through. Now, here's where we get into the good stuff. Tail cone reinforcing splice. Left and right. Handy little shield. So after you've reamed this and you've drilled out these rivets, this slips between the skin and the hockey stick, so when you're sawing this thing off, you're not banging against your inside skin. Protector. Rivets. Washers. Button head rivets. Two different sizes of 832 screws. A 10 and an 8. Reason being, this is a 182. It doesn't have that big reinforcing plate here, so it's not as thick. So you use the number 8s on the 182s, on the 185s, 180s, you use the 10s. Uh, lock nuts. Now here's that handy dandy invention of the Doug Kellers that slips in here, and then you screw this precision headed bolt through that hole you reamed on the inside. And that clamps this thing tightly, and that's where you drill your locator hole for the hinge point. Very precise instrument. Here's the aforementioned reamer that comes with every kit. All the drill bits you will need, different sizes. Allen wrench you will need, and this little cherished 7 30 seconds wrench for the little bitty nuts. That I drove all over Caldwell trying to find one. So I thought, man, this has got to be in the kit. I spent probably an hour and a half trying to find one and probably $50 worth of diesel. And this stupid little wrench costs $4.45 if you buy them 500 at a time. Trusty hacksaw. Now, I have found I like to turn the blade around. This is set to push, cut on the push. I like to cut on the pull. And so, uh, Turn the blade around. What's the preference thing? It seems like you got more control pulling it than pushing it because when it goes, sometimes you know you're on. Of course, you got the guard to put down. Well, that's what I got, guys, and uh, been received pretty darn well. And it is a fix. The ICA allows you the mandatory service bolt and calls 500 hours, five years on your inspection. With this installed, we got 10 years, 1500 hours. To me, that's another lifetime. To a part 135 guy, it's a big deal because, you know, guys up in Alaska, heck, they're running six and seven hundred hours a year. You have to have put this tail on with a zipper, you'd have it on off so often. But anyway, here's our kit. Comes with everything you see, except this. We didn't see this. And uh, that's what I got. Bush wheel build. See you guys down the road.